Hey guys, it's I Simply here, and today I'm going to be doing a reading on Kid Sid and Diamond Flawless, I think her name is. Um, I have seen on the internet that, you know, Kid had put some marks on Diamond's neck, and I'm really interested to know, like, what's going on, and I really know that majority of youtube want to know what's going on because he's acting like he ain't doing no wrong and then she have the proof and then it's this and it's that you know what i'm saying and i just want to come here and bring some clarity to you guys and also to myself since i am you know a youtube watcher i do watch youtubers and i really was just super duper interested on the situation so we're gonna get right into it. I'm not gonna waste no time because I don't want this video to be super duper long. And um, yeah, so I already did my prayer. And I'm gonna get started to put the cards right. I do my knock and I'm gonna do four shuffles for stability. playing music in the background because I am clairvoyant and clairaudient as well so the music also helps to challenge the message three four mm. and at the bottom of the deck is the justice card so <laughs> Just know some justice is about to be served with this reading. Okay. So I'm gonna give a couple more shuffles. I'll give a couple more shuffles, then we're gonna get right into it. just got interesting things just got juicy because for these tens to be here and this ace of cups to be here divine holy spirit i need to put the reverse reversed okay So, what these cards are telling me is that <laughs> there's no happiness here. There's no love. There's no happy ending, okay? Things was definitely not going good financially and emotionally for them, okay? They was probably spending too much money, you know? The love is really just not there at all. What else can I spill? Let's spill the tea. Let's spill the tea. Definitely a lot of fighting. Definitely a lot of competition with others. Um, they felt like they had to. They were they were just in battle with themselves too. Oh, I'm sorry about the camera. What else? Is there? Yeah, there was definitely like they definitely was a lot of fighting. Definitely a lot of obstacles that was in the way. A lot of people. Um, a lot of materialistic things. You know, was getting in the way of their relationship. Mm. Yeah, it because someone wanted to be a playboy. You know what I'm saying? Someone wanted to be in and out. 
Okay. There was just no. There was just a lot of flirting. I'm getting a lot of flirting going on. I'm really thinking this is kids energy. Did my Holy Spirit clarify my correct? I'm gonna just have to be honest. I'm gonna have to be completely honest. Because one, kid, I don't know you personally, but what I will tell you is, you're not supposed to be putting your hand on a woman, regardless of what the situation is. Regardless if you felt like she was flirting or, you know, there was like other people putting stuff in your head. There is no need for you to put your hands on any woman whatsoever. Okay? Period. So, because his hair is like a wounded person. And who else could this possibly be? Diamond. You put your hands on her. Okay? You may have, you may have feel like she had to have her guard up at all times. She didn't feel comfortable. I'm also getting like I'm also getting like manipulator vibes you know playing the innocent role but really you're not innocent you know no commitment no commitment you had her feeling I'm this is not reverse but I could also read cards reverse there was no commitment okay you had her feeling vulnerable Really had her feeling vulnerable. A lot of deceptive movement. Okay. Quite honestly, I feel like there was another person. There was another person. There was definitely someone is being deceptive. And I'm just I just feel like it's kid. I just feel like he was being deceptive as fuck. Texting. <laughs> you know, sending messages back and forth to other people, other girls. Okay. Yeah, really just holding a lot of secrets. There's a lot of secrets here. Forget what y'all seeing on, on the internet, okay? Y'all really need to just stop believing what you're seeing on the internet because everything is not peaches and cream, okay? Especially when it comes with the with these Instagrammers and YouTubers and this guy and the third. Shit is not peachy cream here. Okay, Devon has said, what's this secret? Let's know. Let's see maybe. What's the secret? secret is there's just no more fight okay there was just no more fight there's a lot of arguing someone didn't have the courage what's the secret what's the secret, what's the secret? have the courage feeling less than wasn't feeling like themselves and I feel like this is diamond okay she right now she really needs some love some you know beautiful messages sent to her inbox because right now regardless of what you're seeing she's just not in a good 
place okay mentally emotionally physically all around she's not in a good place she's not feeling good about herself at this moment she's really not feeling good about herself definitely some healing that needs to be done you know hearts are broken you know just not feeling alive feeling like i'm dead at this point feeling like i can't go on but i have to at the same time you know but she will transform out of this energy she will rise again um she will feel better as time go on because she is talking about her story you know she is telling letting everybody know she's not keeping this a secret okay she will move forward she will continue to move forward and she will be prosperous with whatever she is doing let's see what is this song saying delicate yep She's very delicate right now. She's very vulnerable right now. So, with that being said, that's the that's the T on the background. That's the T of the situation. What's going on? What's happening right now? Okay. Divine Holy Spirit, give me some information on Kid, please. Just give me some information on Kid. Let's know the tea about him. Uh, you know what's crazy? What's the crazy thing? He do love her. He do love her. He do want to offer her a cup. They probably had a past life relationship. A past life relationship. Tell me some more about kid. He's very childish as well. Tell me some more about kid. <laughs> This needs to be reversed. Let me clarify. This needs to be reversed. Yes, it does. I just feel like all of these be reversed because honestly, <laughs> they're really not in a good place. Okay. Also, yeah, he's very childish. Right now, he's in his ego. He's acting like there's nothing wrong. He knows that this connection is practically done. He's not feeling victorious regardless of what he's showing y'all online, regardless of how he's acting. He is not feeling victorious, okay? Because he knows that there's no more passion. There's no more relationship. There's no more nothing. And low-key... He might just, he might end up losing an opportunity. Not correct. You know, now he have to really sit and ponder what happened, what went wrong, what he did. Okay. Because he obviously wasn't seen clearly. <laughs> yep. He's, they're both trying to get these obstacles out of the way. He has some more obstacles he's going to have to clear out before he can even feel victorious. And again, the three of swords, he has to heal as well. This is a healing situation for both of them. What else am I supposed to say? Tell me some more kids. What's going on with him? He definitely got some work to do. Also, he could also be working on something right now. You know, he could be working on something. Just to clear his mind, just to like escape the whole situation. What else? 
but at the end of it, he's going to have to stand in his truth, okay? He knows he's going to have to stand in his truth and admit his wrongdoings because let's believe he's not perfect. Like I said, he's going to have to stand in his truth and really just clear the air, you know, and say his side, say his piece. Okay. That's just a little bit about him right now. I'm not really gonna go into detail. This shit is already 15 minutes. You know. Mm, he might be offering his cup to somebody else now. He might be thinking about talking to somebody else. Is that gonna work around this thing? It's not going to work simply because these messages, the information of the situation is getting out and he's just going to look very deceptive to whoever that he wants to talk to, okay? And he's really going to be feeling very wounded. His guard is going to be hella up and this person's guard is going to be hella up because they're going to be like, oh, nope, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't talk to women beaters. <laughs> You know, so this is just confirmation for me, okay? So, yeah, it's not gonna work out for that. Now, the Holy Spirit, what is what happened that day? That she got the bruises on her neck. What happened that day? The Holy Spirit. This is the last question, and then I'm gonna close the reading. What happened that day? The Holy Spirit. What happened that day? What happened that day? There was no balance. Emotions were all over the place. What happened that day? The Holy Spirit. Charlie's card. Someone was like, enough is enough. What happened that day? What happened that day? It was like, enough is enough. Okay? I want to be free. Okay? I'm, but I'm picking up heavy on Diamond's energy. This has to be her energy. She's like, I want to be free. I don't want to do this anymore. Okay? Because there's no balance here. You need, you know? It really was my time. What happened that day? What happened that day? She didn't want to accept his offer. Okay, he tried to probably come back and be like, oh, babe, I'm sorry. Took this small ass, slow ass <laughs> apology. And she just couldn't deal with it anymore. Okay, she just couldn't do it anymore. she been up. Not sleeping, worrying, her anxiety up. You know, so she decided to take that leap and be like, I'm done. I'm over this. Whatever. I'm over the situation. I don't want I don't want to do this. And then what happened? So sure. What went wrong? What went wrong? Hold on. She she knows her worth. Also, she knows her worth. What went wrong? He came charging in. Okay. He wasn't accepting the truth. He was not accepting the truth. He didn't want to accept that. She didn't want to accept his offer. So he decided to rush in and put his hand on her. What went wrong? What went wrong? This car really is keep popping up for them. Really just a lot of fighting. He wanted to have the upper hand in the situation. Or he thought he was going to get the upper hand in the situation. And he didn't. <laughs> what were you going to say? <laughs> he 
he really got he really let his emotions get the best of him he really did he let his emotions get out of attack and he did what he did okay even though most of these cards are not reversed i could still read it as a reverse so don't think that i'm just chatting right now i'm seeing it for what it is i'm getting the message in my head okay and he was just he just let his emotions get the best of him i'm just saying that right now okay so with that being said this is what happened you know Y'all could believe who y'all want to believe at the end of the day. Y'all going to follow who y'all want to follow at the end of the day. Um, I'm just really here as the messenger. And I couldn't really like sit back and let anybody talk bad about Diamond. Because there are people that really are getting hurt in domestic violence relationships. And some of them feel like they have to hide it because other people want to put their two cents in and tell them that what they talking about is garbage and you know that's just absolutely wrong because at the end of the day you're not living in anybody's household you're not seeing what's happening behind closed doors so how dare you even want to say oh that didn't happen how the hell do you know you know what i'm saying so i just really wanted to really just pass along the message and really just make this clear and if you are in a domestic violence relationship please 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 do seek help do not be scared once you go forward you will get the help that you need and that person would never ever harm you again okay do not be scared to speak up please because there's some people that you know they really do you know die from situations like this because they felt like they had to stay they feel like oh nobody's not going to help believe me somebody's going to help so please do not stay with that person and just seek the help that you need, okay? Now, with that being said, as Shay and so it be, this is the message, this is what happened. Take it how you want to take it. I really don't care, okay? Now, bye. Thanks for watching. Down below in the, in the comments, please let me know who else y'all would want me to do a reading on. What other YouTuber or any other celebrity um, y'all want me to do a reading on and I would do it. So thank you and peace.